Hey guys, so I recently got a uh, question about exporting a project from Premiere Pro into DaVinci Resolve to, for coloring and then back into Premiere. And so I'm going to show you exactly how we're going to do that. So if you look right here at our timeline, we have our uh, video. And it's just a couple shots that I got from downtown Tulsa. This one has uh, a little position change um, because I put a... Uh, a letterbox thing right there so it's totally fine it's just a little position change and then so it's a quick scene not too uh busy or difficult at all so essentially what we're going to try and do is we need to uh go over here export an xml file and then i'm just going to navigate to where we're going to need to be boom exported the xml that's fine so now we're going to go into Premiere or wait into resolve uh, create a new project. We're going to name it Color Tutorial. And so now we are in DaVinci Resolve. Our media pool is opened up right here. And uh, that's essentially where all of our videos and clips that we're going to use for the project is going to pop up. So we're going to import first an XML file. We're going to find where that was. It's right here. There's our XML. Automatically import, master time code, looks good to me. Everything looks just about right. And we're going to import it. So now if you see, we have all of our clips. <laughs> and it has all the native audio in there, all of our clips and stuff. And then right here, we have it in the, t in the uh, timeline, exactly how it was. And you can see it even has the uh, position change uh, that we had in Premiere, which is great. Now, because we don't have to worry about audio, I'm actually going to mute the audio. Uh, this is just a little uh, music tracks that I have in there. Don't really need to have them in. Um, and so this is essentially it. This is our uh, project that we exported from Premiere into here. Um, and so, of course, you can go in. You can edit if you ever need to, which I don't really need to. I did all my editing already. Um, but now you can go into the color tab, do all your color changes that you uh, want to do. So it's, you know, it doesn't matter what, you can just do whatever, bring it in. Um, let's say we want to decrease the lows, get a little contrast going, pop up the highs, do whatever, change the mids a little greener. You know, it doesn't matter what you want to do, but you can go throughout the whole sequences and whatever um, and make all the changes you want. Well, let's say now we want to go back into Premiere for exporting. So now what you want to do is you want to go into uh, Deliver. So we're going to go into here. We're going to choose because we're going back into Premiere Pro. There's this uh, super awesome and very handy uh, like preset custom values on what where you want to export so I select Premiere and we're going to hit add to render queue I already have uh, where the projects going to export to and then you just hit render okay so now if we just go back into Premiere we locate where uh, that file is uh, let's see, and it should be this one right here. We open that. It's cool, and if you go ahead and look in here, it created new files with the uh, ed th with the color adjustments to them. So uh, make sure you choose, you know, the correct destination where you want those colors to be. Of course, coloring be the absolute last. Uh, the last step in your filmmaking process what you want to do you just want to make sure that it's all good so it created a folder you open up that and if we go to that clip right here look it has the adjustments in there already plus it also gave you um, the original source audio to it but that's okay and so there you go that's your colored project right there at the end a uh, quick thing I want to mention is that all these clips have come from a senior film that I've been working on for my friend Joe Orweiler. 
uh, whenever the premiere of that happens and uh, the final short film gets released, I'll add that back into the description. Uh, but as of right now, these are just clips taken from our shoot in Tulsa. Um, and as you can see, they're pretty good. So thank you very much.